All right. Good morning, Betty. Good morning, Zinzi. All right, good to see you. I know you might be wondering, why is Jamuri Day 2016 still trending? Well, we all know the day what happened before January, uh, yesterday, and it was the Naivasha incident. Now, these two conversations have been happening ever since the weekend. And, and Jam yesterday being Jamuri, the conversation is still going on. Now, take a look at this, Take Back Kenya, which is in relation to Jamuri. Mm. There are a group of amazing young activists yesterday who took it to the street to say, you know what, as the youth were saying no to corruption, we'll talk to one of the many, uh, one of the ladies behind this trend and of course we'll take take you to this challenge how low can you bow challenge <laughs> all right it is the uh, this is the latest challenge you happening have to online. do that we have to do it here no we cannot you'll do it for the first hour i'll do it for the second hour <laughs> period Listen no to there's, there's no conversation about that <laughs> Maybe <not strictly. laughs> all right, let's begin with this jamuhuri day 2016 yeah. for our Viewers beyond our Kenyan borders, Jamuhuri was the day that Kenya recognizes the day she gained independence. So yesterday was the day that we were celebrating that 53 years is still going on. But the issue behind this specific Jamuhuri day, if we could have um, the tweets running, is the fact that the, a few hours before that there was a very big accident that happened. And Jamuhuri day is supposed to be Independence Day, supposed to be a day of happiness and gratitude and, but celebration. and celebrations. Yeah. But that um, incident that happened on the Naivasha Road kind of went made things a bit more sour it was it was a bit sad. harder to celebrate this 53 years and of course almost every tweet that online that was talking about jamuri day was somehow connected to naivasha those two words jamuri and naivasha were in the same tweets for a couple of the many tweets that were being tweeted right. this past few hours all okay, right so let's check out some of the tweets yes if we could have those tweets we could read what um some of uh, what kenyans have been saying online no come on now <laughs> There you go. All right, take a look at this one. All right, Johnny, you say in this day of Jamhuri Day, let's condole with all those that lost their loving one, loved ones. Uh, we support you in prayers. Of course, Betty. Mm -hmm. Like I've told you, this is. There's no way that you could have, we could have celebrated Jamhuri without really thinking about, you know, the Naifasha. people who, you know, who perished. You there, know, there you it's go. Such a sad situation. Mm. And the thing is. Um, it could have happened to anyone. Mm. It, you know, it could be you, me, you mm. know, because it's a road. You can imagine just driving home and, you know, I don't, it's just, it's I just know. too real. You just, you, you, you don't, just don't plan know. for it, you exactly, know. Yeah. It, 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 and it, you, death can come to anyone. It doesn't know age, it doesn't mm. know middle class or upper class or the rich no. or the poor, you know. No. So if you could have a, some of those tweets also come uh, through so we can take a look at what else. And just like Johnny, Almost all the tweets, like I've told you, on Naivasha uh, tragedy had Jamuhuri Day involved. They were tied together. And it's like what you've just said, you cannot okay. mention with or without right. both, both of those trends, all right? Okay. Take a look at what Geek Girl says. Okay, I could not hold my tears when one of the affected was testifying how he watched his wife and mom and the sister but i mean that i saw that clip and my, it broke my heart right now this tweet really paints you a gruesome image of what really happened mm. and then even though you are not there and even though you haven't seen the clip this tweet by jerry really paints for you how sad that scene was and her being on the other side watching that happen just like Whoa. many of us it's it really hits sad. home it's so it's so ah oh my goodness i know all right because i remember him he was he was really affected and too emotional mm, about it. Mm. And he couldn't speak on camera. He At some point, speak. he started tearing yeah. up. Yeah. <sighs> it I was know. haunting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. This is another one. Okay. Rosal, you say, Happy Jamhuri Day 2016. May the souls of those who perished yesterday uh, rest in peace. Let's unite this day as Kenyans in prayer for our country. Okay. Okay. All right. So also on top of that, just a recap, uh, one of the things uh, President uh, Uhuru Kenyatta did touch on this during his speech. He also touched on a few other key issues, such as Kenya leaving ICC, just to okay. refresh our memory on that. Take a look at what um, Hillary has to say. Okay, so he's still on that beat. The government should cater for all the funeral costs for all the families affected um, by, by, the uh -huh. by Naivasha tragedy because we're marking solidarity. All right. 
So also on top of that, you know, we've been following this conversation of the Naivasha tragedy happening, tragedy happening, and the thing is, doctors are saying that it, you know it can take up to to two weeks to identify some of those bodies that have had about 40 to 80 percent degree burn. All right, and this was the Google Doodle for yesterday that was really ce celebrating Jamuhuri here in that Kenya, was, our independence. That was nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Away from this conversation. Now, yesterday, as we were celebrating Jamuhuri Day, there was another activity happening in the streets of town here in Nairobi and that was a walk a walk that was there to take back Kenya all right so as you can see from this picture majority of these young people mm. of these people rather are young people the youth and to take back Kenya was really one of those conversations that is there to say you know as the youth this is what we think about corruption and it's a high time that this ends all right um, I'm sure we have on to talk to Okore okay Okore is the lady behind this specific um, trend that we've been seeing mm -hmm. Okore if she is with us. Um, Okore, kind of give us a bit more details on Take Back Kenya and why you started the campaign online and, cho and chose to know go behind beyond just tweeting about it and having more action. Hi, Lindy, and hi, Beatty. Hi. Thank you guys for having me. I mean, Take Back Kenya was pretty much simple. We wanted to take back Kenya. We felt okay. like for the longest time we are. Uh, not being heard, our voices are not being made the agenda, and we are seeing so much theft. You know, people prefer to call it corruption or graft, but we just want to call it what it is. It is theft, and it is blatant theft. It is broad daylight theft. So we were just wondering, why are we celebrating, or what exactly are we celebrating on Independence Day, if we are stealing from each other? So we decided, you know what, we have people who are also upset about this, who feel there is a need to do something more and then just talk about it. So we started a campaign online and we said, if we wanted to take back Kenya, what would we do? How would we go up? All right, uh, so we seem to be having a problem there with the connection. The, the phone issue. Yeah. We'll come back and hopefully we'll talk to Okoro more during the second hour to give us a highlight more of Take Back Kenya. But this were the protests on the streets by young people. Take a look at what Boniface Wangi, one of Kenya's biggest activists, had to say about that. Okay, so he says, today I was at the Tech Back Kenya protest organized by young people who are tired of corruption. I was impressed by their patriotism and energy. Well, that's for sure. That's really impressive. Exactly. Um, because the young people are the majority in population and therefore, you know, if we are angry, hmm. hopefully something will happen. Take a look at this picture. It paints for you the biggest trends and conversations happening in Kenya. Take back Kenya, Lipa Kama Tender, only in Kenya, Corruption KE, Knockout Corruption, you remember that conversation? Mm. So you, all this, Occupy Playground, yeah, Mumia Sugar. Gangs. There you go. Occupy Playground was one we will never forget. All right, so this is just, and, and you take a look at this and you see all these trends, and all these trends have a story behind it. Mm. So when is enough going to be enough? Okay. All right? And, and and hence why those young people took you to the streets yesterday while celebrations were happening in Nyayo Stadium. They decided to have their voices heard. And I'm sure that we'll be able to talk to Okore once more in the second hour mm. to get more details. And here she is when she was speaking about it. And that's what she had to tweet. When you're tired of being sick and tired, you rise up, stand up, speak up. That's All right. for sure. All Away right. from Take Back Kenya, now it is the new challenge I was telling you about, and I'm sure you've seen it because we were laughing <laughs> about it. It is the How Low Can You Bow Challenge. <laughs> All right, and, and all this is thanks to none other than Ishmael. Ishmael is the Cameroonian <laughs> Minister of Sports and Physical Education. Well, he was meeting the president of Cameroon, Paul Bayer. It's how low he went when he was bowing down. So do we have his picture? Because we, that was we hilarious. We do, we do. And as we go take a look at some of them. <laughs> <This is> hilarious. <laughs> It's all a question of, uh, and you know the thing is, this has become such a meme. So thank you, Cameroon. My goodness, Cameroon, but I've never heard of any trend. This is the original picture. So it's how low can you bow, all right? And but looking at it here, it doesn't look like it's too low. I don't know, there's this something. There were so many memes that I have even done angles. <laughs> this one right here was just it, all right? And there's one comment that said when I saw this, the, the dog is like, it's about time I got some respect up in here. <laughs> All it's right, about time. it's about time. I got some respect. Uh, yeah. So now the thing is, even <laughs> all the way in South Africa, you can imagine how people are enjoying this trend. This is hilarious. This my is, goodness. It is. All right. So you? <laughs> no, Betty. We are not going to do the. We're not going to do the challenge come on. Air. Come on. Now, the, <laughs> come on, Zinzi. How low can you go? How? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's how low can you bob? Oh, okay. How low can you bob? It's okay, Betty. No <laughs> problem. All right. So, uh, Cameroon, how thank can you, you so bow? much for that challenge. It has gotten the entire continent laughing. Changing no, memes. not they're not laughing, but bowing. Bowing. Thanks to the <laughs> Cameroonian um, pres uh, sports minister Ishmael right there. Um, so that's it for part one. Part two okay. will come back. I think we'll we better have, have some more of those uh, memes. They're so hilarious. They, they, they are? The, the pictures for the challenge. All right. I'm sure yeah. Kenyans will be doing it. So we'll take a look at it this week and see if we'll have more. Okay. All right. Hi. I thank you so much, Zinzi, for that. That was uh, interesting. So before we take a break, you know, we are just about to finish our first hour. Yep. So you know how we do here on your center. Exactly. Hi. <laughs> so we're asking you something very crucial. Remember that we have... Um, the doctor strike. You know, we're talking about so many, so many things are happening in this country. Man, corruption. <laughs> so, you know, now we're even talking about day nine mm -hmm. of the health workers strike. And mm -hmm. so we're asking you if you think the government and the health workers unions are actually committed to ending the strike. Now, of course, earlier on, we gave you an update of what happened today in court. Remember that uh, the officials of the doctors unions had been summoned to court today because they had defied an order that barred them from going on strike in the first place. And so today what has happened is that the court has declared that their strike is illegal mm. and they should go back to work. Mm -hmm. But what are the doctors saying? Nope. Nope. So there is no deal? Yep. So the doctors are like, no, thank you. We're not going back to work. But you see at the end of the day who's suffering? It's us. The common man. Yeah. Exactly. When two giants fight, it's the grass that gets hurt. Yeah. So in this case, it's Kenyans. So that is our top story this morning. Please uh, chime into that conversation that's taking place online if you think the government is committed to ending this strike together with the health workers unions. I'll continue to sample your tweets once you come back from this break. So don't go away. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. <laughs>